Okay, this is an activity that you can do at home. I have very cold blue water and I'm gonna fill these jars. Baby food jars work great if you have baby food jars. I'm gonna fill two uh, of them with the very cold blue water. And I'm going to fill oops, with the hot yellow water. And just be careful you don't burn yourself. Okay. And what I want to do is I'm going to put this, this is just an index card, and I'm going to put the index card on top of, uh, so in this case, I'm going to put the blue cold water on top of the yellow hot water. And in this case, I'm going to put the yellow hot water on top of the blue cold water. Okay. And to start out with, I'm going to take apart, take out this divider. Let's see if I can. And let's see what happens. What do you predict might happen? Can you see how the yellow warm water stayed on top of the cold water? What do you think will happen if I do it the other way around? with the cold water on top. Uh -oh. My thing got too wet. So what's happened here is this water is less dense and so it stays on top of the cold, more dense water. In this case, the water was more dense on the top and so it flowed down into the other. You can try this at home for yourself to see that warm water is in fact less dense than cold water.